Well, Diego, you should see him now. Lionel Messi lost it after Argentina's victory over Netherlands. The number 10 dedicated his goal to Fungal, criticized his style of play, slammed the referee, and insulted a rival on live television. Now we know who Mateo takes after. What the hell happened to nice Messi? Mr. Nice Guy? Lionel Messi has always been a simple, humble, low-profile guy. You know, besides being one of the best footballers of all time. The Argentine has largely avoided public confrontations, and his attitude in certain moments have earned him both lovers and haters. But something's changed in the past few years. That long-haired, shy kid became a bearded, often outraged man, ready to call out every single injustice he's witnessed, especially when representing his national team. His complaints about alleged favoritism towards Brazil and Conmebol cost him a three-match ban back in 2019. But contrary to what many may think, this new side of Messi hasn't been widely criticized. In fact, the large majority of Argentinian fans have embraced this new version of La Pulga, even more so when Messi managed to produce heroics during the 2021 Copa America and won Argentina's first trophy in 28 years. With the World Cup around the corner, an inevitable question arose. Which Messi will we see in Qatar? Mr. Nice Guy or this Mr. Hyde version? Against the Netherlands, our question was answered. Unleashed. Messi had his own personal vendetta during the World Cup quarterfinals. As we've learned, he used the words of Louis van Gaal as ammunition. Alles is mogelijk, vind ik. Het is niet zo dat wij kansloos zijn tegen Argentinië. En we hebben nog een rekening te verfenen. Dus yeah. uh, uh, dat zou wel heel mooi zijn als we nu wel winnen. He claimed to know how to stop the number 10. And he also assured that the Europeans would have an advantage if the match went to penalties. Oh, Louis, bad move. Messi had one of his best World Cup games and led Argentina with the ball as well as with his mindset. Leo argued with Dutch players, assisted Nahuel Molina, and controlled the rhythm of the game. But the best came when the PSG player scored the second Albi Celeste goal. After celebrating with his teammates, Messi went right to the Netherlands bench, looked at Van Gaal, and put his hands around his ears. Oh, what were you saying, Louis? That you knew how to stop me? Okay, we don't know what went through Messi's mind, but it could have been something like that, plus a few unrepeatable insults. Leo didn't take part in Argentina's distasteful celebration when Lautaro scored. He just smiled and hugged hero goalkeeper Emmy Martinez. But he did approach Van Gaal and criticized him again. With gestures and a compromising tone, Leo confronted the Dutch coach. But Messi showed his most verbally furious version after the game and on live television. While waiting to start his post-game interview with TNC Sports, Messi shouted, What are you looking at, dumb f Go over there, dumb f Incredulous, the journalist tried to calm him down. And minutes later, we discovered that the player he insulted was Wout Verhorst, the man who scored a brace to take the match to extra time. According to Messi, Verhorst was provocative since the moment he came into the field. The Dutch revealed that he was only trying to swap jerseys with the number 10, who had absolutely no desire to do that. Diego Vibes Messi's outburst went viral within seconds, and Argentine fans went absolutely mad with their captain's attitude. The most Maradonian Messi was the unanimous verdict. A world champion and football philosopher, Jorge Valdano, put it best. Messi is showing the true essence of football. He's pulling a Maradona this World Cup. Whoever doesn't love Messi doesn't love football. A hateful comparison of his early days, but now told as a praise, Messi was Maradona's heir due to his incredible technique and abilities. But now he seems to have embraced Diego's unique charisma on and off the field. Messi has taken Argentina to the semifinals for the second time in the last three World Cups. In 2014, he was key thanks to his GOAT quality. Eight years later, this veteran icon is ready to take his national team to the top, and a whole country's hope stands behind him. Messi does not play the nice guy role anymore. Leo has decided to become a leader not only on the field but off the field as well, even if that means to trash an opponent in live television. Is this Messi's best version? And will Argentina make it to the final? Let us know in the comments! Van Gaal's pre-game conference really grinded Messi's gears. Leo was absolutely furious with the Dutch coach, and you haven't heard the last of it. Check out Oh My Goal's video to discover new details about the number 10 and his verbal war with Van Gaal. See you next time!